Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Senior Chihuahua, who ended up at a shelter, tucked himself into bed every night. Life is full of surprises, and that's something most of us have experienced firsthand. Sadly, those surprises are not always pleasant, and we often find ourselves in front of obstacles too hard to overcome all by ourselves. Unfortunately, a senior chihuahua named Scooter faced an unpleasant event when his owner died, and he stayed all alone with no one by his side, so he ended up at a shelter. What Scooter did on his first night at his new place got the attention of the shelter staff, and they couldn't help but take a photo of him laying under a blue blanket. He got covered himself, and it was only his ears and the sweet face that was visible. It was his way of comforting himself. The staff feared that Scooter would spend the rest of his life at their no-kill shelter because they knew senior dogs are not likely to find forever homes. But even if that was the case with Scooter, they had plenty of place and were willing to take care of him. Scooter was 12 years old and had an old hip injury. Jan Nageldinger, shelter manager at the Humane Society of Branch County in Michigan, told the Dodo. However, once the cute photo of Scooter from under the blanket was shared online, the shelter received numerous phone calls from people all over the country. One of them was a woman named Jessica Lynn Howard, who had already adopted two chihuahuas from the shelter before. I saw Jan's Facebook post, along with the rest of the world, Howard told the dodo. My husband Tim and I were lying in bed, and it brought me to tears. Without hesitation, I showed Tim, and I said, I have to go get him. Her husband fell in love with the cute doggy, too, and the first thing in the morning, Howard headed to the shelter to get Scooter home. When we arrived home, Scooter met his new pack and family immediately, Howard said. It was amazing. Everyone greeted him as if he was a long-lost friend of theirs. They truly acted as if he'd always been there. Their farm is just the place for dogs to enjoy their days and have as much space and fun as they want. We have Jax, formerly known as Nemo, a chihuahua we adopted from Branch County, Hank, formerly known as Little Henry, a Chihuahua healer mix we also adopted from Branch County. Babyface, another Chihuahua that belonged to my husband before we were married, and two healers, Spur and Waylon, Howard said. Scooter turned into one of the sweetest dogs ever, and his family was glad they made the right decision to offer him their home. He's super funny and acts goofy. He plays around like he's a two-year-old sometimes, Howard said. But he's also all about taking naps, with his blankie, of course. He absolutely loves my husband, Tim, and our son, Braden. Our daughter, Delaney, has a soft spot for him, too. He's beyond loved and maybe a little spoiled, too. However, Scooter still covers himself with a blanket any time he goes to sleep. When it's bedtime, he still tucks himself in, Howard said. I've tried to tuck him in, but he'd rather do it himself. He has to get the covers just right. It's really cute watching him. The life of Scooter was an inspiration for other families to consider getting a senior dog. The good thing that came from this story was that people from Italy... Puerto Rico, Canada, and many, many states across the U.S. contacted us willing to take in Scooter, Nageldinger said. When Scooter had been adopted, many of these people said that they were going to go to their local shelter and adopt a senior dog. So Scooter not only saved himself, I really believe that he saved the lives of other dogs all across the U.S. with his story. Sadly, when choosing a dog, most people opt for puppies, not being aware that older dogs have as much love to give as little ones. That picture of Scooter in the shelter tucking himself in represented all the millions of animals awaiting homes in the shelters everywhere, Howard said. Scooter lying there on that cot was once someone's beloved pet. If Scooter's story can help inspire someone to adopt or to donate to the Humane Society of Branch County or their local shelter, Howard added, it shows what one little senior dog can do. He moved an entire world with just a single post. That's beyond amazing. Please feel free to share this with your friends.